for the title of this video, we know I went yesterday to Sephora, the first day of the sale, Friday, April 9th. It was a lovely day here in South Florida for going to Sephora and buy a bunch of products. I'm so happy. And let's start with the primer. I bought this primer from the brand One Side. I heard so many good things about this primer that I was like, okay, let's buy it. Let's get it. This is the primer. This says that it's gonna blur and mattify my skin. That's perfect for combination and oily skins. This is the consistency. This is how it looks. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot like the Hourglass primer. A lot, a lot like that. But it doesn't have that white tin that sometimes the Hourglass primer has which I like because it helps with my redness. But this one doesn't say that it's gonna help you with your redness. It says that it's gonna blur and mattify your skin. So definitely something that I'm looking forward to try. For foundations or tip moisturizers, I finally got my hands in this one that is super, super kind of like popular, let's say, by the brand Alia. Um, this one has FPF and I am very intrigued by this one. The name of this product is Super Serum Skin Thin Brow Spectrum FPF 40 Sunscreen. It's hydrating, natural protection. It has niacinamide, squidoline, hyaluronic acid, and it has 30 milliliters or one fluid ounces. It says to check well before using it, but actually it doesn't have anything inside to help that process. I would like this product to have maybe something inside to help you to shake it because I actually tried to shake it before and it didn't shake well. Super, super runny. How fast that's going. I'm gonna blend it with my fingers. And I know that shade looks extremely light, but it kind of like sets to your skin and show you the true color of the product afterwards. As you see, it's very, very, very glowy to the skin. Obviously I apply way too much um, I don't need that many, I, need, I don't need two pumps in my hand, but this is how it looks like. It looks very hydrating and pretty. Let me know down there in the description if you would like me to do a review of this product. Remember, I have combination skin, so if you're interested on in seeing how this performs in a combination skin, let me know down there. I definitely like the fact that it has a lot of skincare on it and it has also FPF. Definitely that's something that is very highly appreciated. I actually really like that idea. So hopefully when I apply it, I like it. Okay, this product has an expiration date, but it's only in the box. So be careful with that because this is a sunscreen product. So it has to be used until it expires. I think it will start looking different. That's most likely what SPS tend to do. This one expires in October of 2022. So I have a year and a half or so to use this product, but I will definitely try to mark it here and see if the marker stays. If it doesn't stay, try to put a sticker or something because I don't like the idea that this bottle doesn't have the expiration date. I'm being picky right now already. <laughs> so many powders, so many powders. But anyhow, I got also the one side setting powder. This is the color translucent, which is the lightest one. She has another one uh, that is darker. The packaging of this product is so stunning. I was like, yes, give it to me. I heard so many, many, many good things about this powder that I was like, okay, let's try it. Let's use it. Let's see how it works. It seems like the powder comes out of this light right here, the slash from the OS. I actually don't like the expenser, the packaging of this product. It has this thing right here. It's only the slash where you can get the powder out. It is not like the other two, like the O and S. And it's hard because when you close it, it cannot close the, the actual slash. Getting the product out of here is not something that I appreciate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this already. I don't like the packaging. Let's call it like that. I like the component like this, but I don't like how you get the product out, how the products get distributed. I need powder. I'm going to apply a little bit on the side here from this Team moisturizer that I applied earlier and see how that looks in there. It looks very milky. Wow, that looks pretty. This corner I apply and see how it mattifies. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's move on with this nest powder, which is from Tasha. This is something more new in the market. This is the Tasha, the silk powder. I'm pretty sure everybody here has heard about this thing. It's been all over the internet. Tasha always has such a pleasant packaging. They are packaging queens and kings. Product says that it lasts only six months. This one says that it lasts 12 months. So 12 months, six months. You know your girl has to use this one more now. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I kind of like, mm, 
Tasha sometimes have very, very short life. It has like a little silicone band in there. It makes the product to stay close. I like this system better. It's a little messy, but I like this system better. And here is a product. It come out. I basically close it and I made it. I check it and it came out. It's right there in the center. But I don't know. Maybe I like more the one side. And the last one is something that I used a while back. And I really like it. It's really good for your oil. So this is definitely for oily and combination skin. Because it actually absorbs the oils. And I know a lot of you guys here who follow me have oily skin. Because I do have combinations. So probably you're trying to find people with more combination and oily skin just like yours so this definitely is very very good for oily skin types the name of this product is long time no shine um and it definitely modifies your skin so and did i say it's from lancome i don't remember when was the last time that i bought something from lancome this one lasts 24 months so this is the one that it lasts the most of these three products and voila all of it outside and yes this is super modifying super super modifying so now this is not shiny anymore. Like it has luminosity, but it's not shiny. So I apply the Lancome in this corner. So basically I have one side here. I have Tasha here and I have Lancome here. See how the Lancome is super modifying? This is definitely really, really good for oily skins. And this has become like a mini showing you what I bought and a little kind of like try on, like very superficial try on. Obviously I'm not putting it on my face, but yeah, it, it has that purpose. <laughs> Even though this video is going to be very, very long, I think it's going to be more um, nice to see some of these products working, right? I think so. So since I apply powder and thin moisturizing SPF in this hand, I'm going to show you the next product will be something that both of them are new for me. I haven't used them, but both of them are setting sprays and kind of a primary product, but I never use a setting spray as a primer. Is a setting spray or is a primer for me? And this is the Hourglass Veil setting spray. This one launched a while back, but I never got it because I get scared when I heard the word hydrating. Uh, I guess you guys understand. We combination and oily skin types don't like the word hydrating or luminosity or shiny or anything like that. So obviously I got scared. I don't know if you have to check this. Let me see. It says shake well. It was intuitive. Shake well and hold it 10 inches from the face. Close your eye. Firmly press the palm and release the mist. I saw this in the store and the mist is like glorious. I'm going to show you here. Hopefully you can get, you see it. Oh, so nice. So nice. The Tasha got a little too luminous. The Lancome's still be mad. The one side looks very cool too, but the one in the middle, which is Tasha, I'm um, not sure. Hopefully that powder works for me. But the next one that I bought is this one from Milk. It's also not something new, but I never jump in this one. This is the Hydro Grip Set Refreshing Spray. I like it because it's refreshing, so it's not only a setting spray. And this one you definitely have to check because it has obviously more than one type of formula in here. This looks more oily right here in the top. And this one, the blue one, looks more liquidy. This product lasts 12 months. And the Bell Hourglass that I already was losing the cap. I always lose the caps on my products. This one is for six months. So keep that in mind when you buy new products. And when you have products in your collection, some of them expire so much more sooner than others. So you have to kind of like try to remember that when you're using them. Especially if you have a big collection. So I'm going to apply this one in this hand. I don't have anything in here. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, definitely the spraying here is not as milky. I want to show you here. It doesn't have any scents. It has hyaluronic acid. That's very, very good for the skin. It has agave extra that helps to grip the makeup all day. So it will help your makeup to stay. That's definitely 100% good for oily and combination skins. You want your makeup to stay all day. So I'm actually going to spray this one because it's not only a setting spray, but it also refresh the skin. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's use it. Let's see how it looks in the skin. It says four pumps and I did like six. <laughs> I still see the particles in the air. <laughs> um, always extra. Always extra. Anyhow, it feels good though. Mm, my face was a little stiff. And now it feels, it feels and looks more hydrated. If it doesn't make my skin greasy, good choice, Heidi. <laughs> I bought everything that Charlotte Tilbury came out for brows. 
I bought all of them. They are three products that she just came out for brows and I bought them. I'm a brow junkie. And see how one of them have a different packaging. Basically, it doesn't have that shiny, glowy packaging, which that one gets a lot of fingerprints, so I don't mind. Okay, let me show you the precise one, the small one first. It has a spoolie on one of the sides and it has the product in the other side. And it has that angular shape. It's not like an actually round little uh, precise pen. It's more a thick one, but it's still smaller than the other pro that I'm gonna show you from her too. And that color is very, very pretty. Maybe it's a little warm, but I will make it work. This is the other one right here. Here is the product See that it is so much more thicker. And this is how it looks like. They are the same shape, but as you see, they are different colors. Like they have different undertone. This one looks more um, neutral. The other one seems more warm. And last but not least, we have the brow gel. It has color, it's not just a clear one. This one I bought it also in the same shade. And look at that one. It's so, so small. I was like, yes, give it to me. All right, so here it is. I love that. That one might be the, my favorite product in this collection for eyebrows. I'm just gonna apply a little bit and see even though this is not the right time to do it because i already set my face with so many things that my eyebrows are literally crunchy i like the precision i like the one is super precise it seems that it's gonna be something that i'm gonna like for some reason i thought i didn't bought a concealer but i actually did bought a concealer this is the radiant creamy concealer and i bought it in the shade 2.6 actually i bought it in the shade 2.5 not 2.6 this is the Crème Boulet. Let me show you the color. And I already had this product in a mini mini, which is this one right here. And that one is in the shade 2.3 Madeline. But this is Crème Boulet right here. It's a little peachy and beautiful. It is perfect for my under eyes. I like peachy color for my under eyes because it conceals better and it looks more, um, more flattering than a yellow base. Concealer like this one, this is the 2.3 Madeline. And it's so much, so much yellow. See, it's light, it will conceal, but it's way more yellow than 2.5 right here. Let's start with Fenty, which is one of my favorite ones. This one is a repeat. I bought this one before. This one is the Fenty Longwear Pencil Eyeliner. And this one comes in so, so many, so many shades. This is the one. This is a very pretty one, as you see, is the pink one. And this color is so, so pretty. I tend to use this color a lot in the spring because it's so pastel and so beautiful. And we use a lot of those colors in the spring. So this is definitely gonna come handy. And my other one already finished. So I actually use this product completely. I heard this thing is not that good. And I remember right after I bought it. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see, this is from By Beauty, and this is a liquid liner. I always do this when I try a new liner. I start drawing lines all over the place. But I definitely wanted to buy it because I had so many things from By that I love that I was like, okay, let's give a try to this product and see if it is something that I might love. And the other liner that I bought is this one from Dior. This was in the shade Pearly Bronze. This is such a pretty color. This is the colors that I love to put on my under eyes because I love bronzy colors. It's super soft and nice. I definitely like this color a lot. I'm definitely gonna be using it very, very soon. I like the packaging a lot. It looks like a pen. Super cute. This mascara, I bought it because of Maria. Maria told me this is a really, really nice mascara. I definitely was like, really girl? Yes, if you like the Gucci one, you're definitely gonna like that one. And I was like, yes. I just hope that it's as nice as the Gucci one. The one looks very promising. This looks so nice. It looks like it's gonna separate my lashes so, so well. Color shade is after midnight. I'm not sure if they have more than one. I only saw one in the shop. So I'm definitely gonna be using this. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. The next product is this one from Natasha Danona. And this is the, I need a new lip crayon. This one is in the shade Ilona MP2. This one right here, look at how gorgeous that color is. It just looks perfect for what I'm wearing right now. So cute, so creamy, so beautiful. I like that deep color, deep kind of peachy color. It's super cute though, super cute. And I like, 
I need a new formula from Natasha Donana. The last part that I recorded the video, it wasn't recording the audio. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I just noticed, gladly I noticed on time. So I'm gonna just record that right now with you. I bought this product from Dior. This is the Dior Bastage Glow Face Palette. This is in the shade 004 Rose Gold. And it's this one right here. This is so stunning. And this one was so sold out for so, so long that I was like, oh my goodness, you are here. I cannot believe this. This product is always being sold out. So let me show you swatches of it. I actually already did this, but let's do it again. This is one of the colors. Look how beautiful this is. This is the most pinkish one. I put it in the middle. Super gorgeous too. It's very subtle. Then we have this other one right here. That's very light though. I like that one a lot. It's very, very wet looking, but it's actually super dry, just like a regular powder. And then last but not least, we have this one right here. It is a little more champagne color. Super gorgeous. This formula is so easy and beautiful. God, this is so stunning. Oof, look at those colors. Beautiful. For the brush, I bought this product. This is something that I used before, but I stopped using it. I don't know why, because it's such a great product. I actually really enjoy it, especially when you're in a pinch and you don't have enough time to just completely wash your brush. You can cleanse them with this product. This is basically something that you apply to a towel or a thick paper towel, and you apply it to the towel, and then you scrub your brushes again against it. They won't take that long to dry, actually. So I actually like this product for like when I have to switch products from one day to another. I still like to let it dry a little longer than normal, but if you just have 30 minutes, it will dry in 30 minutes. So this is a really nice product just to cleanse your brushes and remove bacteria and everything like that. For the body, I use this product all the time. I actually haven't thrown out the bots yet. Here is the bots. This is the Moroccan oil body uh, butter. This is in the original fragrance. They came out with other fragrance that are like not good. This is something that I literally every time that we have a sale in Sephora, I buy it because I really like this product and it's very expensive and I always run out of it even before the sales. Before the next sale, I'm probably not going to have it, but I just don't see myself buying two. So expensive, but it's so nice. I love it though. This is something that you use right after taking a shower and you just leave your skin with the most beautiful, delicious scents and hydrating. It's just perfect. And the size is actually very big. I just use it so much. For sunscreen, I bought two sunscreens this time and both of them are from the brand Shiseido. This one I used it before, but this one is very, very glowy. So that I actually wanted to give a try to this one because this is mattifying and I have combination skin. So it made sense for me to try something more mattifying than this one. This one is perfect for those of you who like to be glowy and you just wanna put the same product all over your face and your body and it's just gonna be perfect. It won't break you up. It's nice, but I actually get oily with this product sometimes. Depends what makeup I'm wearing that day, but most days, if I'm wearing something dewy as a makeup, I will look oily with this one. So I wanted to give a try to this one right here and we'll just see if it works. This one, it comes in a bigger size, but since I am giving it a try to this one, I didn't wanna buy two two big ones. So here we go with, again with the small one. And for the hair, I bought these two products. Both of them are for curly hair. My hair is curly. This one is a reactivator. Basically, hey, don't use water. Use this. This is going to make your curls hydrated, looking beautiful without making your hair wet again, which is not really good for your hair, actually. And this one is a definer. This one definitely going to define you. Curls according to them. I haven't used this one. And I haven't used this one either. I just try new products for my hair because I want to keep it curly and nice. I don't want to be strained all the time. So this one is a definer without making your hair crunchy or changing the shape or too hard. So it's going to be definitely helping those curls to look better. Obviously, this product is more for like when you actually wash your hair. This one is for more like two, three, four, five days afterwards. And you can use it the day after, the day after that, the day after that, until you wash your hair again. And last but not least, I used my points and I was like, oh my God, those precious points that I love to hold because you never know, you might get something big and nice and glamorous with those points. Uh, but this time I was too tempted to get fresh. Every time that they put something in fresh, I'm like, huh. I want it. So 500 points for this little kit right here. It has one, two, three, four, five products from Fresh. The super, super popular one, the Soy Face Cleanser. I have used this one so many times. I have used like five or six full size bottles of this one right here. This one, I'm going to hold it for when I go to a trip. If we, I see like in six months, I don't go anywhere. 
I might start just using it because I don't want it to go waste. The next one is the Rose Deep Hydrating Face Cream. This is a face cream. I never used this one specifically, so I'm curious to use this one. This one I'm gonna use it now just because I really wanna know how it works. Then we have an eye cream from the line Blatty, which is one of the most expensive line from Fresh. I'm using right now Tasha, and that little guy right like this, it's like this literally lasts forever. I've been using it for six months and I'm not even half of it. And this is the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Product. This is going to hydrate your lips so well, which is so necessary now that we're using so many stuff in our face. So this is definitely something that is going to go straight to my purse. I like these ones because they're small, easy to carry, and it was free. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more of my recommendation for the Sephora VIP sale, go ahead and click this video right here. I give you the best, best products, the ones that I love from my collection that I think everybody should spend time and money on them. No crap. So go ahead and watch this video and let me know what do you think about those products right there.